So we did the video at three different locations here in Tucson. Uh, I wanted to very much show off this beautiful place that I live. I have such a, a variety of audience around the country and actually out of the country. And I, and I think sometimes people ask me, you know, why, why did you end up in Tucson? So that was definitely a goal for this video, for people to see some of the beautiful culture here. Uh, the first place that we shot is a place called Gates Pass, and it is the mountain overpass that heads into the Saguaro National Monument west. Uh, if you go a little bit farther, you'll actually hit uh, Tucson, Old Tucson, which was a very, very famous sound stage for a lot of great old movies. Uh, but it's one of the prettiest spots for sunsets and, uh, and to spend time with Saguaro Cactus which is the only place in the world that you can see Soro cactuses is here in Tucson, Arizona, or in Arizona, I should say. Uh, so that was the first spot. Second spot that we shot at is right here in my backyard. I uh, put together a backyard stage during COVID uh, as a chance to do house concerts and and, and offer another place in Tucson for musicians to perform, whether it's online or uh, recording or, or house concerts. Uh, so that's what was happening here. And then the last place that we recorded was a place called the Sinner Shrine. And it's downtown on Main Street and Cushing Street, very close to a restaurant called El Minudito, correct? I believe Minudito is the restaurant, and uh, it's a, it goes after its name. We're, we're very well known, the Mexican culture here, Tucson culture, uh, there's a lot of shrines, there's a lot of honoring the dead, there's a lot of lighting of candles, and spaces to connect with the ones who have passed. That's part of our culture. And, but the Sinner Shrine has a nice little extra added edge to it. And when you go there, often you'll find things like ashtrays and cigarette butts and, and beer cans and children's toys and all sorts of stuff to honor people on all levels, you know, not, not just the holy candles, but also uh, the human remembrances. Uh, so that's where we did that. The song I wrote, uh, it's called Ain't Gonna Live Without You. I wrote this song in honor of my friend Dondi Marbles that passed away. He inspired the song. Uh, never is a song that I write about one person. Uh, it, they, they, they are often the source of bringing together many experiences and many people. So uh, this song definitely was inspired by Dondi, but it brought together many, many souls that have passed through my life. And I wanted it to be, uh, to speak to the fact that, you know, we, we love people when they're here, and then we also keep them with us when they're gone. And sometimes I think my, in my career, I've written a lot about that subject, but every song, elevates me to a, a, a better understanding and a more peaceful place with that. And so uh, I feel like that song amplifies that transition for me and I hope for everybody else. And for Rosie, of course. Uh, so that's what the song is about. And I recorded it at Landmark Studio with Petey Ronstadt at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, I brought together Danny Ponce on drums, Alvin Blaine uh, on guitar, and then Petey Ronstadt was the engineer and, and also played bass on the track. And it was an odd time to be recording. Everybody was very nervous. We were very messed up and separated. And, uh, and then I sent tracks off. Uh, once we completed the basic tracks, I sent tracks off to my friend Brian Mitchell in Woodstock, amazing pianist and uh, my dear old friend. So he put the piano down and then I sent the tracks to uh, my brother Nod, Don Nottingham, who appears in the video, 
and he took uh, the song to Danny Pickering's studio, upstate New York, and laid down all these beautiful harmonies. So, that was that. So, I decided I want, because I was going to release this song as a single, it's a little different than my kind of blues-based music, even though it definitely is very blues-based, uh, but it's different. And so I knew I wanted to release it as a single, and then I thought, wouldn't it be great to do it as a music video? I've never done a music video. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I have a good friend named Greg Cook, and he, over the years, has been coming out to my shows. He's a tennis pro, and but he's done a lot of photography, like little moments of video here and there. He did a, a logo for me, and he's incredibly talented in this this end of of art, you know. So I asked him at the Chicago Bar if he would like to do a music video. So this truly was a collaboration between him and I, and just going out having fun and and creating both of our very first music videos. So we hope you enjoy it. I felt like the song really related to our annual uh, Day of the Dead parade. Dia de los Muertos is, is the holiday, and it's a Mexican holiday to celebrate the ancestors, basically. And here in Tucson, we have a beautiful procession. We honor that, that tradition uh, called the Day of the Dead procession. And people come out and they walk and they hold pictures of their loved ones that have passed on. And they uh, decorate themselves in marigolds and flowers and beautiful outfits, often uh, musicians, you know. And then the key part of the, of the celebration is that everybody's decorated in the skull paint. And they call that, for the women, it's La Katrina. And you're, you're wearing that character and then you're carrying the photos or the remembrances of the people that you love and you're walking with them. It's really beautiful and I just felt like that somehow was akin to what I was trying to talk about when I wrote this song. So that's 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 probably why I wanted to do that. My hopes for the video and Greg's hope for the video and uh, all our hopes for the video is that people will watch it. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, uh, I hope you enjoy the song, you know, more than anything. I think you're gonna enjoy the video. And if you do, I really hope that uh, everybody will get on board to sharing it. And we would like to get at least a million people to watch this video. I mean, I would like to go viral, not just to have the COVID virus. I wanna go viral. <laughs> <laughs> once in my life and I think this could be a fun way to do it so if 10 people watch and enjoy it share it with 10 people and 10 people and 10 people and uh, and I promise you we'll do more coming after that